If you had to fill your entire lawn with a single plant, which one do you think would survive the longest? Today, we're gonna find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. I haven't played the original version of this game in a while, and today I've decided to come back and do a bit of an experiment. I want to know what plant is best. If you had to do like a last stand type of thing in survival mode, with just one plant on your entire lawn, which one would get you the farthest? Some of these plants are completely useless and you're gonna see that, and some of these plants are gonna be really good. So let's get started. So we're gonna do this in survival hard. I know there's no place to plant water plants, but that's okay. We got all kinds of hacks, okay? That, that's how I'm able to do this video, with the hacks. We have to put something in our loadout. It doesn't really matter because I've got these buttons over here. By the way, Plants vs. Zombies Toolkit, PVC Toolkit, is now available in English as well. So uh, check out that uh, program because it's actually amazing if you want to mess around and do stuff like this. So uh, let's, do, let's just start with the lily pad, okay? All right, so with PVC Toolkit, guys, I just have to press one button and... Boop! It's a full lawn of lily pads, yeah! Can I survive for 10 days? I doubt it. Can't survive for a single day, guys. You have to actually kill the zon- Wait a minute. Maybe we can survive a single day because of the fact that we have lawn mowers. I'm not really sure. All I know is that things are going a little slow and I have a speed up button. So let's put this on five times speed and go. Let's go zombie, you got this buddy. Keep eating those lily pads. You're doing a great job. Here comes another zombie eating a lily pad. Who knows guys, maybe we can defend ourselves against these zombies. You know, maybe. That's sarcasm in case you uh, couldn't tell. Okay, one zombie has died. There's like a couple of waves here. So there is no chance of just having the, the lawn mowers save us guys. Like, there's gonna be a lot more zombies after this. So as soon as the zombie comes down in an empty lane, it's all over. Can you guys just go even faster? Maybe 10 times speed. Look at this 10 times speed zombie. Look at this zombie go, guys. He do be walking. And we're dead. He survived for zero flags before dying a gruesome zombie death. Well, that was kind of obvious now, wasn't it? In fact, guys, I think for everybody's sake, we probably shouldn't do that with every plant that can't actually hurt a zombie. You know what I mean? Like, walnut, tall nut, they're, get, they're getting zero days. Okay, they ain't surviving nothing. Neither is a sunflower. Neither is a cherry, I mean, let's do a cherry bomb just so I can show you how long a cherry bomb actually survives. Okay, so let's go ahead, plant the cherry bomb and it looked really cool. It was beautiful, but now the zombies can just walk in and we got a zero days. Okay, what will be fun, guys, is the coffee bean and the garlic. Coffee beans are gonna do nothing. I just wanna see a bunch of coffee beans appear out of nowhere. All right, here we go, boom. Sad, they just got snapped by Thanos. Can we smash the like button? I don't feel so good, ha! <laughs> garlic itself is actually gonna survive all the zombies. The garlic's just gonna be like, ah, get out of my way, go somewhere else. And every time a zombie eats a garlic, it gets a little closer to the house, you know what I mean? Uh, this would actually be one of the fastest ways to lose if you had to fill your lawn with one plant because they don't even need to eat it. They just need to taste it. Okay, blah, blah. you guys sound great. Let's go, let's go ahead and 10x speed you. Yeah, this is good. This is uh, a a ASMR, zombie ASMR. Hope you guys enjoy and boom. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm, I'm impressed with how efficient that was. They took out one mower and then a zombie went through the gap. Good job, zombie. Good job. So if we actually do use a cob cannon here, uh, it's just gonna chill. It's, I, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do anything, which is kind of sad, but uh, go. Yeah, they're all ready to do something, but you have to actually do it yourself. So it just kind of, it kind of goes against the rules. I'm sorry, cob cannon, you're a very cool plant, but you just, you don't really work on your own. So we just crossed off a lot of plants that we know are not gonna be the ultimate plant. Let's get down to business. We're gonna take a pea shooter. We're gonna put it in all the lanes. And I know that this zombie, you know, was already in there, but we'll let that slide. It's cool. Here we go. How many days can this survive? It'll probably do pretty good. So let's just go ahead and 10X speed and uh, watch the magic. I don't want to choose my plants. Stop making me choose my plants. I want to go in there with no plants, okay? What's the big deal? All right. Two flags, guys. I mean, that's pretty, that, that's pretty cool that we got the disco zombie over here. Good times, good times. 
Can you guys get in here? Can you can you kill? No? Okay. All right. We survived four flags, guys. All right? That's uh, it's nothing to shake a stick at. Oh, look at that. Look at that middle lane there, guys. Oh, they're getting in there. They're getting in there. They're eating. They're eating them. Boom. Okay. So that's our... Uh, I guess we might be able to survive one more flag. No. No, we can't. Okay. Four flags. Not bad, peace shooter. Not bad. Uh, let's do a potato mine. Okay, because this is going to be interesting. Um, you know, they, they can only kill one zombie each. Maybe, I don't know why I'm picking up sun. Stop picking up sun, Matt. What the heck? Uh, they, can, they can only blow up like one zombie each for the most part, unless they come in a little group. Sometimes you can get a couple at once. But yeah, that ain't going to... That ain't gonna do much, man. That ain't that ain't that ain't gonna pay the bills. You know what I mean? GG though. I mean, you completed one flag. Uh, wow, wow. Okay, next plant is snow pea. Uh, so with the snow pea, it should do a lot better than the uh, the normal pea shooter, right? So I don't know how long this one's gonna survive. But we got Mr. Jack in the box over here. He might have something to say about it. Probably not. It makes a big difference that these guys are getting slowed. Okay. A big difference. We've only, they've only gotten through one column so far. Come on, guys! Do better! Why can't you do better? There's a gargantuar coming. That's pretty cool, huh? How far have we made it now? Uh, You haven't chosen any plants that can fight off balloon zombies. I don't care. Wait a minute. So you tell me balloon zombies are just gonna ruin my life? Balloon zombies are gonna, like, invalidate, like, all my plants, guys. That's sad. You shouldn't do that to a person. There they go. There they go, ruining everything. That hurts, bro. Look at that. Wow. Well, there you go. That's a plot twist, guys. That's gonna... That, that basically means there's gonna be certain plants that are, like, way better. You know, like, there's a couple of plants that can take out these guys. Okay, well, next up, guys, we're gonna do the Chomper. My favorite plant, potentially. I mean, there's a lot of really great plants, but this is definitely one of them. Okay. They can take out a football zombie by themselves, which is pretty great. Let's go ahead and speed it up. They're going to survive a while, man, because like, oh, maybe not. Maybe we're already losing some. That's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the volume, right? If you get a bunch of zombies coming in here at once, you can't do a whole lot. Like, basically, if whatever many zombies you have in a group... You're gonna need that many chompers lined off to stop them. And you're gonna lose your chompers in the process. But it ain't over yet. We, we got through two flags. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty sure we're not getting any further than this. Because, yeah, look at that. So we've got the two zombies right here and the disco guy. And nothing we can do about it. We can lawnmower them, of course, but that guy just discoed his way into my brain. Stop. So we've done Pea Shooter and Snow Pea. Here is Repeater. It should do better than uh, Pea Shooter. And possibly, it, it will do better than Pea Shooter. I don't know if it'll do better than Snow Pea, but probably. But also the Balloon guys are gonna ruin everything. Thanks Balloon guys. Okay, yeah, so we got a little bit of space and now everything is way better and then we got uh, balloon guy ruins everything thanks balloon guy if you guys could just leave a thanks balloon guy down below in the comments that'd be great so you can let balloon guy know how much you love him and how much you actually are appreciative of what he does i mean these guys with the the doors are pretty bad too but the balloons the balloons i have foiled my plans once again i am so sorry repeater Really sucks having to see a repeat of that. Okay, you know what'd be fun? Hypno shrooms. They're not gonna survive very long, guys, because there's not that many of them, but they'll do a little better than the uh, potato mines did, okay? Because of the fact that uh, they actually attack afterwards. So they take out this zombie, and then that zombie can take out other zombies. So speed it up, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how this works. Don't leave without taking a bite! Come on! Okay. Now we have zombies attacking each other, which is always a good time. But that that guy, of course, is... Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to take out a bucket zombie. He's going to be the, the winner there. I don't even know if we're going to survive a single day here. Okay, so... 
We did survive the first day because it's too late now with the mower's stat. We didn't even finish it. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool with me. Now we're just going to go ahead, remove the mowers, and a zombie's going to walk in. That's a lot of zombies. Wow. Uh, zombie's going to walk in. Eat my brain. Okay. Not very good, guys. Where, where, where is the ultimate plant? Where could it be? Don't mind me. Just planting some squashes, even though I know. That they're not really going to do all that much. I'm just doing this for my own sake, okay? I just thought it'd be fun. Just thought, just thought it'd be fun to watch these guys go, Womp, look at that. You can't really see it. It happens so fast, but that's what makes it so fun. All you guys got to do is make it to the second flag, and you can survive the, uh, the first day. Which will just put you on par with a lot of other terrible plants that you don't want to fill your lawn with. Yep, look at that. They made it. They survived the uh, the first day. Impressive. Am I right? Not really. I was kidding. Again, we're going to run into the same issues, but I want to see it happen, especially since these guys they shoot a lot of peas, okay? They're, they're pretty good at shooting the peas. So they'll survive better than a repeater or a snow pea. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Even the bucket zombies couldn't do much. They took out one three-peater. That's uh, not that great. Oh, now we got these uh, hole vaulters. I feel like you guys are sending out a lot of really nasty stuff pretty quickly. I don't know how I feel about that. Even the football zombies don't survive that long, guys. Maybe on the edges where they don't get as many peas. They don't get peed on so much, but the three-peater is doing pretty good. It was. Seven flags is pretty good. We could have potentially still killed things in that lane, but we didn't. Okay, seven flags. Is that the best we've done so far? I think it is. Thanks for not showing up, balloon zombie. Okay, I was gonna do a spike weed next, guys, but let's just do a spike rock instead because of the fact that it's, you know, an upgraded version of a spike weed. So why would we need to use both? We already know this one's gonna be better. It's an absolute pleasure to watch this happen, guys. Like, it is one of the best ways to kill zombies. Just stab them in the feet. They just take damage the whole time. That's fine. That's, that's, that, that's not gonna bother me. You can't pole vault over spike rocks. You can't put a ladder over spike rocks, you big idiot. You can't dance your way through spike rocks. You will die. I'm sorry, do you wanna die? Is that is that what you want? Cause that's kinda weird. Six flags, man. This is flag number six. Can we do seven flags? No, cause there's a freaking balloon zombie. It's just one. So you never know, it might be all right. I don't care. I don't care about that. So he's gonna come in on the first wave, right? You're gonna hear. So because it's just like one, show, it's showing one balloon zombie, we might actually survive this. Cause we do have a mower and the mower can somehow kill a balloon zombie. Oh, there's a lot of balloon zombies here, guys. There's way too many balloons on me. Oh my god. Seven flags. Who's gonna get eight flags? All right, next up, we're gonna do star fruit. Star fruit's cool because it shoots in a bunch of different directions and you can hit a lot of stuff from a lot of angles. Let's go. It's pretty nice to watch, guys. Everyone knows that the first column is always in the most danger because there's just not enough time to shoot them. You gotta see them before you can shoot them. You can't see them until they come on the screen. I don't mind if you uh, get through the middle lane because of the fact that we're gonna be hitting you from all of the sides. All right, okay. I expected more damage there. You guys are not doing too bad. I'm proud of you. Okay, that's four flags. We're doing it, we're doing it. Until the balloon zombie gets here. We actually have uh, the digger guy coming out here now, which is kind of fun because, you know, this is a plant that shoots in reverse. So he ain't gonna do anything. Here he comes. And he's dead. See, just, just no. This is a, a juicy one, but we're still here. Balloon zombie. Oh God, balloon zombie, why are you like this? Why must you ruin everything in my life? Couldn't you just ruin some things in my life and leave the rest alone, balloon zombie? Well, this ain't so bad. Like this is working. Well, 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 another seven flags, guys. Stopped again at seven. No! Ugh. I don't even care about the cabbage pole, guys. But I'll use it. 
mostly just want to move on to the melon pulp. Oh no, the guys in the back. I didn't think about that, guys. That's not good. That's not good. This makes uh, this makes the cabbage bowl not so good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're surviving another day here. I don't think we're getting through another flag, if I'm honest. I mean, look at all that empty space over here. <sighs> yeah, no, go ahead, guys. Go ahead. Just uh, walk on in. Make yourself at home. Uh, put the kettle on. Have some hot chocolate. It's, it's cool. Guys, this basically dooms all of the lobbing plants, but I want to try the melon pult. Melon pult's beautiful, guys. Melon pult's wonderful. But it can't stop everything. It stops a lot. Okay, it stops a lot. But not everything. This is like my favorite so far, guys, just for how satisfying it is. <laughs> again and again. Beautiful. Don't even bother zombies. You can have a couple of melons as a treat. Mmm. Disco zombie, what is you doing? Causing me uh, slight problems. Slight. Well, here we go, guys. We're going to survive another seven. And then the balloon zombies. Ruin everything! Send them to the gulag! I hate them! I wish we could hit these friggin' balloon zombies with a watermelon. They're in the air, and so are my melons. Seven flags. Okay, let's get Gatling P in here for the culture. Please and thank you. Looks good. Looks good. Bet we can get all the way to flag seven. Guys, it is impressive when you can get through a round without losing any of your plants. That front column is not, you know, very survivable, but these guys can do it. They're the friggin' Gatling piece. Okay, look at that. Into my rear end you go. Sadness commences. Look, look, they're gonna, they're just, they got them all. They got them all. We, we got, we got six. We're not gonna get seven, but we got six, guys. I just gotta put the plants in so we can watch me die. Okay. So, unfortunately, there's always someone to mess you up, right? Okay, hang on a sec, guys. I forgot I forgot another plant that I need to do. Okay, you can't, you can't do one of these videos without putting in the Gloom Shroom. It is one of the most amazing plants ever, even though Balloon Zombie's gonna ruin it. But we still have to watch, okay? Because it's beautiful. Now, these guys are short-range attackers. So that actually is a bit of a problem because, like, for example, the bucket zombies, they can just, you know, they can slip by eventually. They approach you head-on, they can, they can eat their way through, and then it's easier to keep eating later. So these guys probably won't even actually survive as long as some of the some of the other plants. I don't think they're gonna get to, to flag seven. The football guys, man, they're they're doing the trick. But we're gonna get we're gonna get to the, the next day, I think. Nope! Nope, the pogo guy got us. Wait, no? No, he didn't! He didn't, that was close, but he didn't get us! We're still alive! We made it to flag six! Now, yeah, there you go. And we lost. Okay. Okay, six flags. Now we can do the last two guys. I don't know which one's better. I'm pretty sure the cattail is gonna be better than the uh, cactus, but the cattail, the cattail, not cactail, the cattail and the cactus can both take out the balloon zombies, making them pretty much the best things in the whole game. All right, let's give the cactus a shot first. And see how it goes. Go. I don't think, I just feel like these guys aren't gonna be strong enough to actually like keep the zombies away. But we can, we can lose a little bit, right? We can afford to lose like a bit of our front line and then maybe we'll be okay. The buckets, man, the buckets. Okay, you're getting there, guys. You're getting there. You got, got rid of some of my dudes, but now look at how far you gotta go. Look at how far you gotta go before you can do anything, you loser. That's two days down, guys. That's two days down. That's beautiful. We got a pogo guy. We got a, we got a, a, a pole vaulter guy. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, But a guy that's gonna go around. The guy that's gonna dig underneath us, that's gonna be the problem. That's gonna ruin us like a balloon zombie would. That's so sad, so sad. Look, there he is, there they go. Can you not? I can't shoot backwards. If only there was a plant I could use that can shoot backwards. Okay, so there you go, guys. The cactus, it's not that great, but it could have killed the balloon zombie if it had a chance, which it, 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 it didn't. So here we go. Everyone's favorite plant, the cattail. Maybe it's just my favorite plant. I don't know, guys. But the cattail is something else. And I know you can't plant a cattail 
um, on land, but yes, I can. Shut up. Here we go. Boom. The cattail ought to be able, maybe, to get to flag eight, because nothing else could. But these guys have that concentrated attack, so they should lose very few cats. Okay. Look, the balloon zombie's here already. He heard that the cattail was here, and he wanted to see it for himself, and that's not going to be good for him. Come on in, buddy. Come on in, and we'll uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay. Trial run. Let's go. I hear it. Oh, guys, we're loot. Well, we lost the first two columns. I guess that's not so bad. I can hear the balloons being popped. I can see the little dudes, sort of. I mean, it's all happening very fast. Whoa, we got the guys with the with the doors, but you know those cattail spikes are going somewhere, so they will find their way to the zombie who needs it most, perhaps. Oh man, so, so we lost some, so we're losing our DPS, but we are buying time in terms of, you know, the zombies have to get farther now. Five flags complete, guys. About to have our sixth flag complete. Oh, the, oh, the gargantuas is mad. <laughs> we're gonna do it, guys. We're actually gonna do it. We're actually gonna get past day four. This is crazy. Have you smashed the like button? Are we gonna get past day four? A lot of bucket heads over here, guys. I don't like them bucket heads so much. I don't care so much about the dancers. They're fine. I like dancing. Dancing's cool. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So this is this is gonna be our seventh flag. We are now tied for best ever. Oh no. Oh no! can't just tie for best ever. Try again! RNG gods, please bless me. I need I need the cattail to do better, okay? I can't have a tie over here. I know what you're thinking. Matt, this is unfair. You didn't let anything else try again. Well, sh shut it, okay? Just shut it. I feel like the zombies are a little meaner this time, guys. I feel like we're losing cattails quicker, but maybe it's just me. We're almost through day two, so that's good. Okay, okay. And see, those those guys that throw the basketballs, that's not very nice. I don't like it, and it uh, kind of hurts me, okay? We just we just need, we need that, we need, stop, stop, stop. Well, that, that was mildly problematic, but maybe we don't get one in the next day, and then we, uh, we can, we can do all right. We still got lots of cattails left, don't worry. Oh, no, oh, no, the cattails, they're, they're, they're leaving. We still got lots of cattails left, don't worry, okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. Eight flags. Eight flags. Let's go. Let's go. No, you're not allowed. No, don't eat them. Don't eat them. They're not, not allowed to eat them. It's against the law. It's, it's against the law. Stop doing that. Stop it. Six flags! Only six flags! Get those! What are you doing? Again! Okay, here's here's a good one, guys. Look at that. We got our we got our little uh, diggy guy. This is like the one plant that can really defend against him, besides for the one that shoots backwards. You know, the split pea. But when these guys they pop up, they just die. It's great. I love that. Okay, this is a doable one, guys, because we don't have the stupid we don't have the stupid basketball thrower. Okay, so we just need to kill the zombies. Okay, and like uh, the the bobsled guys aren't ranged. So it's, it's good. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 They're creating a bit of a challenge, but look at us. We're surviving. We got this. Boom. 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 You see to get through the final wave, guys. Just got to get through the final. A lot of zombies over here. A lot of zombies over here in the final wave, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I knew you could do it, Cattail. I knew you could do it. Now it is time to die. You are getting old and weak. You don't work like you used to. Your spikes aren't so spiky anymore. Okay, fine. None of that stuff is true, but there are fewer fewer of you, and that's that's the problem. Okay, that's what's gonna take us out. That's a that's quite quite a Quite a lot of zombies, guys. Okay. Okay. You survived for eight flags. Wow.
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little experiment. I thought it was fun. I had a good time, so I hope you did too. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions for future experiments in this game, you can leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to check out another one of my videos, you can click right there.